let's learn about cone okay what is a cone cone is a surface which is generated by locus of straight lines that pass through a fixed point and intersect a given curve or touches a surface okay so let's just assume i have a curve okay and i have a fixed point okay now my cone is the locus of straight lines that intersect this curve and pass through this point okay so it's going to be something like this okay so this is the all set of lines that pass through this fixed point and intersect this given curve okay so i have not shown you the whole line in an unbounded fashion actually line doesn't have bounds right so it's going to be extended in this direction and extended in this direction i have just shown you a part of this cone and it looks like this this curve is known as guiding curve okay these lines are known as generators okay sometimes also referred as generatrix and this fixed point is known as the vertex sometimes also referred as apex okay so this is a cone which is set of lines which pass through a fixed point and intersect a given curve okay in general the equation of a cone is going to be something like this it's going to be a function of x y z equal to 0 when this equation is of degree 2 we say our cone is quadratic okay so what is a quadratic curve quadratic curve or rather quadratic cone is a cone having equation of this type with degree 2 okay another way to define your quadratic cone is to say that it is the cone having guiding curve as a conic okay what are your conics circle ellipse parabola hyperbola rectangular hyperbola are your conics so if your guiding curve is a conic or essentially it is a equation in two variables of degree 2 then you get a quadratic cone so essentially my quadratic cone is of this type and has a degree 2 we are basically going to be concerned only with quadratic cones okay let's find out the equation of a cone with vertex at the origin okay we are just assuming that my function of x y z is of this type we have ax square plus by square plus cz square plus 2f into yz plus 2g into zx plus 2h into xy plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0 so this is a general equation of this type we are going to see if we get some pattern in this particular equation when the vertex is at origin okay since vertex is at origin so it basically means 0, 0,0,0 is a point lying on the cone therefore it must satisfy this equation okay therefore when you're going to replace x y and z with 0 0 0 then you should get the result 0 okay because it must satisfy this equation so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is also 0 this guy is also 0 this guy is also 0 this guy is also 0 and this is also 0 so essentially what you are left with is d is equal to 0 so one thing we know for a cone having a vertex at origin is that it does not have a constant term okay let's find out if we know something else let's just suppose this is the cone having its vertex at origin okay so this is origin 
let's just say that I know a point x1, y1, z1 which is lying on the cone. Okay, so I'm just making an assumption that x1 comma y1 comma z1 lies on the cone. Okay, so since this guy lies on the cone the generator through these two points what is the direction ratios of this generator you know two points the direction ratios therefore is going to be x1 minus 0 y1 minus 0 z1 minus 0 which is essentially x1 y1 z1 you know the direction ratios you know a point you can find out the equation of this generator okay the equation is going to be x minus x1 which is 0 upon l which is x1 is equal to y minus y1 which is 0 upon m which is y1 okay and we are going to have z minus z1 which is again 0 upon n which is z1. So this is my equation of a generator through vertex having a point x1, y1, z1. Okay. You can also write it as this is let's say equal to some k so your x is equal to k into x1 your y is equal to k into y1 your z is equal to k into z1 so any other point on this generator is going to be of the type kx1 ky1 and kz1 okay now since this is a point that is on this particular generator which in itself is on the cone therefore this point must satisfy the equation of the cone so it must satisfy this guy okay let me just copy this particular equation and then we are going to put in the point of this type over here okay so this is the equation that must be satisfied by the point okay which is a general point on the cone okay now just see over here if you look at a x square if you are going to put x is equal to k into x1 you are going to get k square into x1 square and you are going to get a okay similarly over here you are going to get b into k square into y1 square and c into k into z1 square look at these guys you have 2f replace y and z with ky1 and kz1 so you're getting 2f into k square into y1 z1 okay similarly you're going to get 2g into k square z1 x1 and 2h into k square x1 y1 okay and over here you are going to get 2u into k into x1 2v into k into y1 2w into k into z1 okay so I am going to write this as I am going to take the k square common which is everywhere up till here and I am going to k going to take k common which is everywhere in this part of the equation okay I already know d is supposed to be 0 as we have seen earlier so I would just take off the d because d is a constant term and we have seen a constant term cannot be present if the cone has a vertex on the origin so this is what I get now over here I have k square into 0 plus k into 0 right the 0 I can write like this 
सो नाउ आई कैन जस्ट कंपेयर दी कोइफिशिएंट्स ऑफ के स्क्वायर एंड के सो व्हाट आई गेट इज 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz or rather 2ux1 plus 2vy1 plus 2wz1 equal to 0 okay you have replaced x with kx1 y with ky1 and z with kz1 right so everywhere you are going to have these okay W1, Z1, Y1, X1. There is no W1. It's going to be just W into Z1. So you're getting two equations which are this is equal to 0 and A into X1 square plus B into Y1 square plus C into Z1 square plus 2 into F Y1, Z1 plus 2 into Z, Z1, X1 plus 2 into H x1 y1 is equal to 0 now if you look at this equation this is essentially a equation of the type lx plus my plus nz equal to 0 which is equation of a plane right so if my x1 y1 z1 satisfies the equation of a plane then i am saying that my x1 y1 z1 is a arbitrary point which lies on the plane okay however i have made an assumption that x1 y1 z1 is a arbitrary point that lies on the cone okay therefore this contradicts my assumption so for this to be possible i must have u v and w all equal to zero okay so my u is equal to v is equal to w is equal to zero now if i look at my original equation which is this i'll just paste it again at the bottom i have proved that my d is to be zero my u v and w has to be zero so essentially i am left with this okay so when you are going to put x1 y1 z1 in this equation essentially you are getting this equation okay so what you've proved is a cone through origin or rather a cone having vertex at origin is having a equation like this which is a homogeneous equation in degree 2 okay just see this is a degree 2 term this is a degree 2 term this is a degree 2 term this is 1 and 1 which is 2 this is again 1 and 1 2 this is again 1 and 1 2 so you have just proven that a vertex having or rather a cone having vertex at origin has f of x comma y comma z equal to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of degree 2 ok so in general whenever you have a cone whose vertex is at origin your equation is going to be of this type which is going to be a homogeneous equation which means it is not going to have terms like these okay these terms would not be present now let's find out the equation of a cone whose vertex is at origin and which passes through the coordinate axes so your coordinate axes are the generator for this cone we are supposed to find the equation for this cone we know the equation of a cone whose vertex is at origin is of this type ok it's a homogeneous equation in x y z having a degree of 2 now since the cone also passes through the coordinate axis you know coordinate axis has points like 
a comma zero comma zero okay so any point like a comma zero comma zero is going to lie on x axis similarly any point like zero comma a comma zero is going to lie on y axis similarly any point like zero comma zero comma a is going to lie on z axis okay so essentially all such points must satisfy this equation okay since we already have a a present over here let's call this as k okay so all points of this type these three types rather must satisfy this equation okay so when you're going to put this over here what you're going to get is you're going to have a into k square plus this is going to be zero because your y is zero this is also zero this is also zero because y z are both zero and this is also zero because although x is not zero but z is zero and this guy is also zero because y is zero although x is not zero so what you're going to get is a into k square is equal to zero or in other words your a must be equal to zero okay similarly when you're going to put this guy all the terms would be zero except for this guy and hence you would get b equal to zero and when you're going to put this guy in the equation you are going to get this term as c k square and everything else would be zero so you're going to get c equal to zero so when the vertex is at origin and the cone passes through the coordinate axis these terms are not present because a b and c are all equal to 0 so the equation is 2 into f y z plus 2 into g into z x plus 2 into h into x y equal to 0 you have too common everywhere so you can just take it off so the equation of a cone that has a vertex at origin and which is passing through the coordinate axis is, is this okay it's a general equation if you can find out f g and h you will get a particular cone okay